Wait a second, you didn't know that I was gonna be here? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, hey folks, good afternoon. Brooks and I have come over here to go fishing, but before we do that, we're gonna close out what was an amazing weekend last week. Mm -hmm. It started Thursday. Mm -hmm. We got to meet someone really cool. Let's just show them the video, you want to? Yeah. All right, check it out. It is so nice getting to meet oh, you, my know. man. No, no, we drove all the way over here just to see you. You didn't know? <laughs> So, are you more of a Braves fan or more of a Deer Meat for Dinner fan? Deer Meat for Dinner. Give me a hug, bro. That's what I'm talking about. How old are you? Eight. Eight? Dude, let me see your muscles. Let me just make your muscle real quick. What do y'all feed that kid? Look at them, man. You got some guns. For You're as big as I was when I was 12. All right, Brooks, what did you think about meeting that guy? Um, It was awesome. Who was it? Robert Arrington, Deer Meat for Dinner. I actually got on one of his videos. You did? Yes. And we'll post a link for that in the description. But we had a great weekend, and it started Thursday night, and then we, we went to meet Robert Arrington, Deer Meat for Dinner, an amazing guy. Look, what you see is what you get. He took a lot of time, spent with all the kids, gave a shout out to my daughter. I'll include that at the end of the video. Who's in the? She's in the Marine Corps. Then we came over to the lake that you see in the backdrop, and there's a campground over here called Twin Forks Campground. Very convenient for us because it's like three miles down the road. If you're ever in this area, Northwest Alabama, Bear Creek, Alabama, and you're needing a place to stay, you can always try this place. Now, they don't take reservations. It's a first come, first serve basis. Uh, so, you know, you may get in, you may not. You can always call and see if they have call the city hall and see if they've got a spot available before you come. But it's an awesome campground if you like to fish. If you're not into fishing, there's not a whole lot of activities around here, but uh, other than enjoying the park and picnic tables and they got a small playground, some ball fields, uh, that sort of thing. But um, I had, we didn't ever go to the playground because I was like, well, nature is my playground. We just fished, right? Yeah. But we caught tons of bluegill. He gave him a box of worms and a little spinning reel, light action spinning reel, and he caught bluegill one yeah. after the other and yeah. you run out of worms. Yeah. And then you put on a jig and you caught some brim like that, right? Yeah. I caught one and I was going to give it to this one guy who gave me a little crankbait. Uh, I was going to give it to him, but um, it flopped out of my hand. But we got the crankbait. Yeah. He was a very nice guy. Give, yes. Come up in a boat and give Brooks a lure, and he enjoyed it. But we had a great weekend. We did a catch, clean, and cook mm -hmm. with your brim. Yes. His spot bass. Uh-huh. A tilapia that he did not catch. We bought that one, that one at the store. Yeah. And a little gill-hooked bass. Yeah, largemouth bass. I don't like keeping the largemouth but he was gill hooked and he was going to die. He was bleeding bad out of his gills. But the little spot, I'll keep all those. This lake is overrun with the spot. You catch them all the time. They're a nuisance. They need cleaned out and they're as good as a crappie, I promise. We wrapped them up in some aluminum foil, put some butter in there, a little seasoning, and uh, just baked them down till they were nice and fall apart, flaky. Yeah, let me tell y'all guys something. They were delicious. What'd we do with them? Um, we ate them. And we, and we made them fish tacos. Fish tacos, absolutely. Sour cream. How did that? Salsa. Salsa verde. Yeah. And lime. And lime juice. All right, we went with a little taco here with our fish that was swimming this morning, right here. And Brooks is about to try it out. Make sure you get a little bit of everything. Okay. Christy, tell us how we built our taco. Fish. A little cabbage. Mm-mm. I'm skipping the radishes. No radishes? Okay. Come on. All right, she did a little radish. A little cilantro. Oh, Brooks. A little lime. I 
Okay, now let's try. A little pico. Let's try a little wine. A little of our special sauce. You're gonna make his sauce, I promise. Now hold it up there and let us see it, Christy. Pretty. All right, try it out. Let's see what we think. All right, y'all both look up and tell me, tell us what you think. Christy, go first. Two thumbs up from Mom, Brooks. Use your words. Mm. I'd give it two thumbs up and a one down because of the radish. I really don't like radish. So. Well, how's the fish? The fish, from a scale to one to a and beyond, I guess it would be a pee and beyond. Give us your honest take on it, Christy. Thank you. Huh? It's good. Anything it needs less of, more of? Less flies. Y'all yeah. look up at me. Are we having a good time camping as a family? Yes. Thumbs up, Brooks. This is a large mouth bass. Shaky head with a green worm. And um, this is the exact thing that we caught him on. And we caught him on one of these two. Green ghost with the bait caster. Tell him Dad's GoPro wasn't rolling, or we'd have had it on film. Yeah, we've caught. Um, That's number three. Yeah, I'm like, I want to eat this thing. But yeah. That one. Yep. We got two. We're not going. He's too nice. We're not going to eat him. We're going to turn him back. Chris, you going to get you film turning him back? Yeah. Let him go nice. I will. <laughs> Good job, Brooke. Okay. Hey, Miss Emily. I wish you were here, girl. But you are in a company of wonderful people. United States Marine Corps. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Simplify. You got nothing but heart and uh, I certainly appreciate your service. We had an awesome time, an awesome weekend, at an awesome campground, at an awesome lake. Would you agree? Yeah. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you that this is a nice clean park with good fishing. Hey, when the crappie's biting over here, man, you, this is a good crappie fishery. I've caught some big crappie. I've caught up some big bass over here in tournament fishing. Um, I haven't really um, caught any crappie this year. No, but we're going to get into that, aren't we? Yeah. See, Dad's, he's been in catch release, and I haven't really liked him. Brooks likes to catch clean and cooks. Yeah. Not to catch a least and tell Mom about it. <laughs> but what we're about to do is get down here to the bank, and we're about to do a little afternoon bass fishing before it gets dark. It blew up a little cloud on us, but I think that's fell apart, so... We should be good to go. Maybe we'll catch the a little. The cloud went. <laughs> fell apart. Yep. So maybe we'll uh, we'll be all right. Thanks for watching Fish Camp and Fix. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll never miss out on on another video. Goodbye. See y'all. Thanks for watching Fish Camp and Fix.